Hey there, Aries. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name is Julie. I'm going to do a reading for you, Aries, for the week of February 13th. <laughs> Aries, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. If you have already, thank you so much. And let's just get into it. What kind of moon oracle card for Aries? What's going on with Aries spirit? Have faith in your dreams, the waxing crescent moon. Look how beautiful this is. Some kind of creativity coming from you now, bursting through here, Aries. And what do you need to release? The waning moon. Wow. Wow. Love this. Some kind of dream coming to the forefront. All right. What kind of animal spirit guide? Ooh, the golden egg sitting on something here. It's a spirit card. So you're nesting right now. You're nesting, gathering some information here, lighting up from within here. So it's coming, the light is coming from the inside with you, but it's about to crack wide open. You're about to crack wide open with the spiritual uh, answers that you have received here. Oh, yes, look at this, Aries with the Phoenix rising. Oh my God, look how fiery, look at this. Phoenix rising from the ashes. So this is going to change everything. This cracking open of yours, this uh, coming out of your shell here, this coming out of your comfort zone here and bursting through somehow, some way. It's like you just step up. What kind of Zentero card is up in the ether for Aries? Oh my transformation and slowing down. You need a minute. You need a minute to rest here. <laughs> it's not easy going through this kind of transformation here. So look at that with the spider on the on underneath there. Look at that web you are weaving here. You're creating something new here. Absolutely. Especially with this Phoenix here, but you're weaving your way there. You are creating this Aries. You're creating this, but you've been very busy, very much a lot going on here, handling a lot. So it is time to take a break right before this big transformation get that rejuvenation that you need here wow look at that and consciousness on the bottom of the deck some kind of awakening for you some kind of spiritual awakening for you wow what is this transformation going to bring to you this is just going to be really um powerful very powerful all right what's up in your mind space what is aries thinking about Resting, there's that break. Aries, look at this, the Four of Swords. It is time to rest. It's time to take a break. Um, take care of yourself, nurture yourself. You are being prepared for something much, much bigger here from this transformation. Wow, you've got to take a break right now. Take a break from the uh, mind right now. Look at this, the Hierophant, you're coming into something very, very big here, some kind of spiritual awakening or understanding with that golden egg. Yes, some kind of spiritual understanding that elevates you. Look at this elevation with the Phoenix right up to the Hierophant here with that elevation. Wow. Aries, this is big. This is a completion. This is a change here, a huge, huge change here. Transformation. What else? What else in the mind space for Aries? Oh my God, the chariot. Wow. <laughs> Look at this. Cancer energy coming in. This is Taurus energy. Oh my goodness, the chariot number seven. This is going to happen very, very quickly. Aries, you're going to have a revelation or a uh, a breakthrough, an aha moment, a clarity moment, a complete clarity moment that transforms you. You're feeling very tired right now. This has been long. This has been hard, this journey to make it to this point here. But wow, this transformation is powerful. This is very, very powerful and beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This elevation of yours coming very quickly. <gasps> Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, my. 
look at this aries you were meant to be kind of on this solo journey so if you're feeling very much solo or on your own even if you're with someone or you're with people a lot of people you feel very much on your own that you have to uh, make all the decisions in your own life but aries that is beautiful that's where strength comes from is this decision making that you have this uh, this decision making ability that you have it is glorious with this virgo energy coming into the mind space with the hermit look at the major arcana i mean this is a huge transformation a huge once again leveling up you're leveling up you're you're really um elevating you're really elevating right now my god is that beautiful what else oh my god another major arcana look at this breakthrough look at this rising up this elevation you're gonna feel this you are going to feel this uh, uh, massive rise in your energy massive rise in your outlook uh, a massive elevation for you aries this is beautiful wow this is life-changing <clears throat> this elevation what's in aries heart space how does aries feel about this ace of wands you are focused you are focused you can feel this change coming you feel something coming it it feels like um oh when it, anticipation aries you've been anticipating this and here it is all the time you were fearful of what it was going to mean to you what the change was going to bring to you and here it is it's just a complete elevation or rising above it's so much more beautiful than you possibly imagined here i mean this is beautiful it's just real clarity real crisp clarity now and that is beautiful that's the elevation there it is <laughs> it's beautiful okay what else what else in the heart space for aries seven of pentacles my god this has been kind of a solo journey from you for, for you you've had to do this on your own you've had to figure this out on your own and how to make things grow it's like you didn't have any help or you didn't have any assistance and every time you reached out for assistance it just seemed too far away it just seemed unreachable the resources that seemed to be available to everyone else you couldn't get to them but there was all these learning things happening here Aries there was all this growth happening I mean you can't have growth without contrast so that's what it was it was to push you into this elevation into this rising up into this transformation that you're going through right now wow what else in the heart space for aries <gasps> look at this the star here comes the reward aries here comes the wish come true aquarius energy coming into the heart space to say that this is something you've been working very very hard for consciously or subconsciously you have been working very very hard on yourself very much observing your life very much standing back and being the witness to your own life and now you're going through this massive transformation where you literally step back into yourself here only you've you've got all these lessons behind you you've got all these experiences under your belt to really break through now and rise up and elevate up wow oh my god ace of swords you've got two aces in the heart space eight of cups walking away just walking away from that past life that was a past life it doesn't even belong to you any longer here look at this with the page of wands now this is you really following your fire now really understanding the bigger picture now the broader perspective now and it's just like you understand you don't know how you understand but the answers are there you just um, think of a uh, if you're in need of some kind of mantra or some kind of uh if, if somebody pushes you for the right words you just know them you you don't even know where that came from it's like wow did i just say that <laughs> that spirit channeling through you now because you are so connected because you have risen up so high in the um through the veil that they're, you're just easily accessible to them now and it's just so beautiful look at this look at the family around you look at the stability and fun around you now Aries wow and this is in your foundation this is what the reading was for for you to feel stable for you to feel connected to come back into your life now <laughs> let's get the heart things for Aries it's time to come back <laughs> 
come back to the world and show us what you have learned here because it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. You managed to elevate up and graduate spiritually somehow here. Page of Swords, look at this information coming into you now. New ideas, new friendships, new connections now, new meaning to those connections now for you here, Aries. That's beautiful. But you understand that you're always learning, that your learning path is never over. It's never, it's never this graduation for you, is it? Because life is about learning for you. When you stop learning, you die. And that's how you're really feeling according to these cards anyway. So you will continually be learning this. And really, that's how you're rising up. That's how you're rising above the collective who gets stuck in the problem of it, who gets stuck in the sludge of it. Wow, this is so powerful. I love this. What else in the foundation? Ooh, the lovers, Gemini energy coming in. It's time to find that soulmate now too. There's a connection out there that, oh, my dogs ignore my dogs. There's a connection out there that is really bonded to you, really feels you out there. So either you're together or you're not together yet, but you feel each other out there. You know that each other are out there. So there's this constant calling happening with you to this soulmate that has elevated as well here, has really... Um, risen up. We're going to pull the energy around you, but yeah, there's a soulmate calling you here to reconnect now. Let's reconnect now. Queen of Pentacles, look at this sitting in your true element now, Aries. You're just, you're just sitting in the integration of the energy now. So it's just nothing can bother you now. Nothing can shake you out of this, uh, a mental peace now that you've created for yourself because you understand it was you creating it. So, wow, that was part of the elevation here. So beautiful. Saw Ten of Swords wanted to come out walking away from anything that felt betraying to you. Eight of Wands, that very fast moving energy. Like I said, this is going to happen very, very fast. This is all about this transformation for you and the rising up from the ashes here after burning it all down here. Aries, this is beautiful. This transformation is glorious and uh, it, it's going to make you feel so much more connected, so much more involved, so much more um, um, integrated with people. So you won't feel like so much like you're out in the, you're, you won't be the witness anymore. You won't feel so much like the witness anymore. Take a break though. Take a mental break though. Just meditate, a lot of meditation, a lot of clearing your mind right now. You really need it. All right, let's get the energy around you. What are people thinking about Aries? Page of Cups, some apologies come in and help to soothe your thoughts about some things that happened in the past here, Aries. So that's interesting. So um, maybe you need to release that because this Page of Cups is offering an apology to the what do you need to release moon oracle here, the waning moon. So maybe it is time to release the resentment or time to release the negative thoughts about it anyway. What else? What else are people thinking? <clears throat> King of Wands, there you are. So here comes the royalty right on top of the hairpin here. So that's very interesting. It's just they see you as a leader now, and you are a leader. Of course, you are a leader, but they really see you stepping up here and being the leader. And I think that's where these apologies come from, or at least um, into themselves. They're like, wow, I really misjudged. <laughs> Ooh, Queen of Cups, look at this. More apologies coming in, more royal apologies now, deeper apologies now because they're the king and the queen rather than a page here. So these deeper understandings of what other people have done to push you into these cycles that you were in, these patterns that you were in and how to break free of them. So people coming into um, your experience now who have the wisdom to tell you how strong you are and to tell you um, how beautiful you are. Wow, 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 wow. So just erase anything that was negative that may have been said to you in the past here to push you through this, to push you through this uh, transformation. It was all just to give you the fuel to get through it, even if that fuel was um, anger or um, um, 
I want to say indignation. I don't know why. Three of Wands. Look at the Six of Wands moving on from the troubled waters. You went solo. You went private. You went inside here to really take this break because you feel this transformation coming. And somebody's willing to let the argument go. They're willing to move on here. They want to step up now and be the person who you saw them to be now. So there's people really wanting to step up and see themselves through your eyes again without all of the... Um, um, judgment and the um, veil of the past here, the, the history of it. So that's very interesting. Somebody really trying to plan their way to you and make their way to you to say um, their side. <laughs> but it's sitting on your judgment and you have spirit with you and you've gone through this big elevation now. So I don't know that you're even going to need any kind of apologies. I think you've really risen above that and it doesn't mean as much to you now as it would have in the past here. Look at this, the 10 of pentacles in the heart space. Wow. You've got two 10 of pentacles here, Aries, the happy home, the abundance, the dream come true. Now, now your hard work is, is growing. You can see it now. Now you can see some of these rewards you're feeling much more independent rather than lonely and that's beautiful again you could be with somebody for a long time here and still you felt independent from them because you were more the observer of that you were more the watcher there but now you're stepping into it you are stepping into it now and stepping up because you have all this wisdom behind you it's beautiful Yes, look at this with the world, another major arcana. Aries, this is going to be really, really big. And people really stepping up around you and revealing themselves to you now. It's just really beautiful. But some kind of big wish coming true for you. That's what brings in the world energy. That was, that's what brings in this transformation. And it comes out of the blue here, this wish come true for you. This almost miracle that you've been wanting for a very, very long time. It just was all about divine timing. It was all about divine timing and uh you know time means nothing to the angels <laughs> queen of pentacles more royalty stepping in and the chariot oh my god aries look at this cancer energy coming in taurus energy coming in with the queen of pentacles but very very solid again they're all looking at what do you need to let go of and the phoenix rising all of their attention is turned this way into uh the, these two cards here and consciousness but look at that. Look at what they're observing here. Look at what they have pushed you to be here. It's just so beautiful. It's just all of these things that had to happen before this transformation. It's really beautiful. But here it is. You don't have to wait any longer. It's, it's happening now. It may be in very subtle ways, but this is going to really gain some momentum. Look at this, a nine of pentacles, the very independent, um, stable card coming in into the heart space of others around you. So people feeling very secure around you, people feeling like they have a grasp on things are not so scared. I mean, they've had these transformations themselves with the world card here, but, um, just really looking at you now and saying, yeah, come back to us, really come back to us. It, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's all different. <laughs> What's in the foundation? What is this reading all about? The Hermit. Look at this more major arcana. So big changes all around you. It really is just the Phoenix rising for you and those in your immediate life right now. Just big transformations happening, a stepping up and elevating up, a maturing and um, growth obtained here, the lesson obtained here instead of just going through that lesson over and over in these um, traumatic cycles. <laughs> Wow. I love that. Ace of Cups, which is fulfilled once again, emotion running over and justice. Oh my God, Aries, if you've been in any kind of a legal battle um, with a partner here, you are about to receive a reward for that and a, a winning for that too. A lot of money cards coming into you here. So um, that's done and <laughs> over. So justice comes in, justice comes in. You have judgment here. You you have a lot of major arcana. So something that has been um, 
really holding you back, really, really dragging you down. It was all for a purpose. It was, it, it was all to push you right to this moment of the awareness. Look at this with the sun, Leo energy coming in. Wow, 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 Aries. This is beautiful. This is a huge transformation where it brings that inner child feeling back within you and really helps you to connect to the earth now, connect to the earthly plane and those inhabitants with it. You're really, really taking care of animals. You're really taking care of Mother Earth here. You're really taking care of us and each other here. So Aries, thank you for that. And um, you are really in for it here. I mean, you are about to embark on a huge adventure into spirituality and what that really means for you and some kind of big wish coming true to get that kickstart get that going. Ten of swords. Yeah, it came from betrayal. It came from all of these very, very, very hard lessons because these are all major arcana. They're not everyday, you know, nuisances. So this was big, but it is the end. Tens are all about endings. So you can end that mistrust now. You can start to trust again. You can start to love again and open up your heart again and shine through again, Aries. You're about to, with the golden egg, you're about to crack that heart wide open and share it with the world. And it is glorious. It's glorious. <laughs> All right, Aries, I'm going to leave it here. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Aries, I hope you um, really have fun with this. I know you will because you're just feeling so much better. So I just, I love this. And um, yeah, rise up, Aries, rise up. Okay, I will end this here. Look at this with the lovers on the bottom of the deck. Again, you have the lovers and then you have judgment here too. So huge, huge karmic balance coming in about your soulmate and that calling you've been, you've been hearing. You don't have to wait for that any longer. So it, it's coming, it is coming there. You, you're hearing each other. You are absolutely hearing each other. So oh my God, in judgment on the bottom, they're going through something, Aries just like you. Okay. I'm going to leave it here. I hope you have a fantastical week and I will definitely tune in soon.